I be of assistance? Well, thank you, Lieutenant. Situation's well in hand. What luck have you had finding a guide, Lieutenant? Uh, still looking, sir. Well, this time, yes. Yes, sir, there's still time. Day. My mother was married to a major prior, Revolutionary War veteran. Sour, peevish old man, I tell him. It was an unhappy marriage. Then my father came along. They fell in love. My mother told prior about it, honestly, begged him to release her, but Flew into a rage on and on, even threatened her physically. So they ran away together. I was born. You don't know how people treated us in Charleston. But my mother and I suffered. Sidelong glances. Silence. Amused contempt. But it was just a matter of time. An accident. Accidents decide our lives. I'm not going to let an accident decide our future, Jesse. I leave tomorrow for St. Louis to talk to Colonel Carney about the weapons I ordered. When I get back, I plan to talk to your father. No. Jesse, I can't go on stealing kisses like this. I'm not a child. Do you think I am? Well, no, but we've been behaving like children. Stop it, Charles. Don't you see my father is only looking out for my interests? Your interests? That's outrageous. What is this, politics? What are you talking about? Look at what you're doing. And I can't talk to him, and now I can't talk to you either. Jesse. All you both care about is your stupid pride. Jesse. I love you. I love you. You survived our first quarrel. You love me. Charles, I, I can't stop kissing you. Let me speak to him. No. No reason for tears. Come now. Dry your eyes. Everything I've ever wanted, dreamed of wanting. He cares about things the way I do. And he's going to do things. Great things. I know that. Charles is going to make a mark on our time. And I want to be with him when he does. To help him, to share with him. I love him. You must tell your father. How can I? After all these weeks of meeting Charles when I was specifically forbidden to see him, I feel like a cheat. I've always been able to talk to Papa. Now when I want to share the most important thing that's ever happened to me, I can't, because I've been deceiving him. It's a betrayal, Maria. Nonsense. Tell 
Tell him, Jesse. I'm only 17. A grown woman. Tell him. Maria, he could send me back to school again, or to Boston, or to China. He has complete control over my life. He's my father. Oh, Maria, what are we going to do? What can we possibly do? Well, there is. Another way. I know. I think that's our only choice. Hmm. You seem to need quite a bit of hardware, don't you? Yes, sir. We'll be gone at least five months, sir. Where are you, Well, sir, my order is to connect my survey to South Pass with a coastal survey made by Commander Will. I know. Why? We'll be passing through a good deal of hazardous country, sir. I'd like to be as well prepared as possible. Lieutenant, don't you know it takes a skilled artilleryman to handle a piece like that? Your expedition is composed solely of civilians. Well, yes, sir. But one of my men, Zindel, was an artilleryman with the Prussian Army, sir. He knows how to handle a cannon of this size. Cannon won't do you a damn bit of good against Indians. They maneuver like light infantry. Yes, sir, but uh, Ashley took one out in 26, sir, and found it effective. Lewis and Clark had a gun. Uh, a one-pounder. Yes, sir, but he used it effectively, too. What do we have here? The gun would be useful to me, sir, if only as a morale factor. Lieutenant, what class are you? 37, 38? I have the honor to be a graduate of West Point, sir. Well, that would explain your obvious ignorance of correct Army procedure. This requisition should have been made weeks ago into your own superiors in Washington. Yes, sir. But I knew only recently that I'd have a gunner along. Prudence would dictate that if such a gun were truly necessary, a gunner would have been sought initially. And the chance presence of the gunner now doesn't make the gun any more necessary than it was earlier. Sir, I've been working for months putting this expedition together. There's still a... This expedition was commissioned by Senator Thomas Benton, was it? Yes, sir, it was. I noticed that you saw fit to mention that fact on the requisition form. Well, yes, sir, to indicate the importance Congress attaches to this mission. Very well, Lieutenant. I'll authorize the House. On the grounds that a commander in the field should be allowed to choose his own weapons within reason. And the Houcher is just barely within reason. But I want you to know that I resent your implication. My implication? I've known and I've admired Thomas Benton for a good many years. But I do not look to him for military direction, and I don't believe that he intimated to you that I should. Sir, no one ever suggested that Senator Benton intimated... You'll get your weapons, Lieutenant, when you need them, including the cannon. I hope you use it well. Carson, Christopher, folks call me Kent. Fremont, John Charles, folks call me Charles. Yes, sir, I know. Clem Lambert said you're looking for a guide to the western country. Me and him was in the mountains there. Is that so? Yes, sir. I know the country pretty good. I believe I can take you anywhere you got a mind to go. You know South Pass? Indeed I do, sir. I've been through it many times. Where else have you been? Well, let me see, sir. 
I come down the Santa Fe Trail as a runaway, spent a couple of lean years in Taos. I went out to California with Ewan Young in 1830. Crap Beaver a while with Jim Bridger. You worked with Bridger? Oh, Gabe? I sure have. I've been half my life out in this country. I run the Rockies north to south, east to west. Ain't no part of them I don't know. You'll have to excuse all my questions, Mr. Carson, but you see... Just call me Kev. You see, I can't afford to choose the wrong man. Too much at stake. I appreciate that, sir. I'll be frank with you, Mr. Carson. Call me Kev. I wanted Provost for this expedition, but he's not available. So right now, I'm looking for somebody like Bridger or... Patrick. Both of them good men. I advise you get either one of them, sir. Well, they're not available either. Tell me something. If you're so skilled in the mountains, why haven't I ever heard about you? Well, sir, likely or not, if you never heard of Kit Carson, then you ain't spent much time around the mountains your own self. You ain't been to Ben's Ford or Fort Laramie, or you've never asked that question. I bet you don't even know you've got the choice of three jumps off places. Jumping off? Jumping off into the wilderness, sir. Jumping clear off the edge of the earth, I feel sometimes. You got St. Joe, you got Independence, you got Westport here, all of them in Missouri. You ever been west of Missouri? Matter of fact, I have. <laughs> You've got yourself a job. Yes, sir. 